What is going on, everybody? I go by the name of Kari, and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. As a YouTuber, there's this ideology that when it comes to reviewing products, we're only supposed to review products that we like. And I would be one of the people that disagrees with that. If you look at any product reviewer on YouTube, you'll notice that they review things that they do or possibly don't like. Today, we're looking at a sneaker that I don't like. I'm not a fan of it. I haven't been a fan of it since the first time I saw it. I think the shoe looks stupid, but I know a lot of you guys would like to see the shoe and hear my take on the shoe. And I appreciate you guys being here today to hear my take on the shoe. Grab your popcorn because I'm probably about to rip this sneaker to shreds. Let's get into it. Boom. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Nike Hot Step Air Terra by Drake and his line Nocta. I don't understand how anybody can look at this sneaker and be like, gotta have that. Like, why couldn't you just get a feline for it? Like, this literally looks like a disruptor. This, is, this shoe is so bad. You know what? Let's take a deeper look. All right, starting with the upper of the sneaker here, the idea of this sneaker is to mix the past kind of with the present and the future here. So we're starting with this very interesting looking upper here that's giving me bring it on cheerleader vibes here. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. Now, these of course, as we all know, came in two colors. They came in a black and they came in a white. I got my hands on the black just because I felt like the black of the two was the lesser of two evils. But the black is still pretty daggone terrible. Now you do have pebbled leather on the upper. The material is nice. I will give the shoe that. The material isn't bad. So really nice pebbled leather going all along the upper of the sneaker. Premium leather. What do they call this down here? Like the counter, the heel counter, little chrome swoosh matching with the chrome hits on both the lateral and medial side on the heel itself. And of course, a little chrome hit right here on the eyelids as well. Little chrome hits all along the sneaker. Taking a top down look at the shoe here, another chrome swoosh right at the top of the toe box there. You have this really nice premium pebbled leather going up to the tongue as well. And then on the tongue, you have this kind of jeweled Nocta logo as well. All right, taking a look at this midsole. Now, the thing I think that's jarring for a lot of people is that the midsole and the upper of the sneaker are taken from inspiration between different elements. So the midsole and outsole of the shoe and even back on this kind of back portion of the shoe around the heel. It's all taken from the Air Terra Humera 2 that came out around 1999-2000. So it's a more rugged, more jarring looking midsole and outsole. If the outsole and midsole look like it's from an ACG sneaker, it's because that Air Terra Humera 2 is an ACG sneaker. This is actually the revitalization of the ACG line. And we've been seeing little bits and pieces of that, both on the sneakers live streams and on some other product that's been coming out as well. It seems like Nike is trying to go a little bit harder with the ACG line and they're doing it with the hot step. Now on that outsole as well, I just want to point out real quick, you have of course that Nike G-Tech technology for the outsole. You also have the AWR. We'll talk about what that means in just a moment as well. Moving around to the heel of the shoe here, you got the G-Tech emblem once again, chromed out with kind of those chromed out heel hits as well. Now, a lot of people thought that these little lines here had to do with Nocta or had to do with the collaboration. It does not. If you look at photos of the Air Terra Humera 2, this exact same design element is there. This is literally a reiteration and a revamp of that exact same shoe. As far as the airbags in the shoe, if you're wondering Wondering where the bright cactus comes from on the color coding of this shoe, it comes from the fact that the airbags are in fact green. When we cut the lights out, that's where this shoe literally shines, no pun intended, but there is a lot of 3M on this sneaker. 3M piped all along the upper of the shoe. Of course, there are 3M hits going all the way down the upper in the quarter panels of the sneaker as well. 3M literally all over this sneaker, but the 3M doesn't even stop with the shoe. Even this silver third of the box is actually all 3M material as well. So the box glows 3M as well as the sneaker glowing 3M. So if you're a 3M fan, you are definitely gonna get your fix with this shoe. And on the insole of the shoe, light blue insole matching the light blue paper inside of the box with that co-branded Nocta and Nike logo on the heel. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention, six swooshes on the medial side of the midsole here, which I'm guessing has to do with the six, with Toronto 416 and Drake calling himself the six guy. So I figure that's what the six swooshes are for. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the hot step Air Terra by Nike and Nocto with Drake. And listen, guys, like I said, this shoe is just awful to me. I think that my issue with the shoe is like, 
I'm not mad at the inspiration behind the shoe. I just think that the execution of the shoe just proves that Drake can't really dress. Like, I don't know who all designed the shoe, but obviously Drake had to approve it if it was part of the Knock the Line, which as we all know, the Knock the Line wasn't even actually supposed to be for Nike in the first place. It was actually a line that was supposed to be designated for Adidas. And maybe this idea would have been better suited for an Adidas model. Like maybe we could have seen an older Adidas model that that got this hot step treatment. By the way, let's actually get into what in the world hot step means and where the inspiration for the sneaker actually comes from. So if you guys don't know, a hot stepper is actually someone that is on the run from the law as far as Jamaican culture goes. In the Jamaican culture, if they call somebody a hot stepper, it means that they're actually trying to evade the law or to get away from the law. Now. Drake, as we all know, is very closely tied in with Jamaican culture and on all the promotional materials, it looked like everybody who had the sneaker on, just gonna keep it a buck, was running from the law. So it actually makes sense why they would call this a hot stepper. But as I mentioned, this sneaker is just more of a Frankenstein with a cool name on it that I believe Nike Hope would sell out because of Drake's famous name behind it, but this Frankenstein of this really rugged ACG model with this really muted and plain looking upper really just gives us vibes of sneakers that we don't wear these days. Again, like the Fila Disruptor or so many other sneakers. These sneakers have had so many memes made about them with different brand logos on it asking people, would you still buy the sneaker if it didn't have Drake's name on it? Would these still look as good to people who said that the sneakers look good if it didn't have Drake's name on it? No. Why did this sneaker sell out? Because it was Drake's sneaker. This sneaker wouldn't have sold out if Nike just came out with a regular shoe that looked like this. It looks hideous. Look at it. The power of celebrity only goes so far even when it comes to hideous looking sneakers like these. Case in point, the Travis Scott Air Jordan 33. The Jordan 33 was just a bad model. So even putting Travis Scott's name on it made it spike a little bit as far as demand, but ultimately now when you see people talk about Air Jordans done by Travis Scott, they never include the Air Jordan 33. It's like that thing that we all just want to men in black flash against our brains and we all forget about it. Nobody ever talks about that shoe. And I don't see a lot of people really talking about this shoe once the hype dies down and the hype is already dying down on it because the sneaker just released and it's already pretty much at retail price on all of the resale markets and that's personally where I go to take a look at where the current demand is on a shoe, the resale markets, because obviously everything is selling out either because it has a popular name attached to it or people just want to buy them just so that they don't have a fear of missing out. But the aesthetic of this shoe just doesn't work for me. Now, the original model, the original Air Terra Humana, apparently the midsole in the shoe was supposed to be reminiscent of motorcycles and those really thick motorcycle tires. And I think that's why this shoe looks the way that it does with this really thick midsole. And I think that's why I liked it in black a little bit better because the sneaker, I'll be honest with you, it really looks like a tire. Like with the upper looking like this with these lines and with this thick, really chunky midsole looking like this, this really looks like a tire. Like you should be moving it like that. And so when people wear it on their feet, it makes their feet look really weird in my opinion. Like the Shaq Gnosis was a sneaker that I think kind of makes people's feet look like a tire. But even that sneaker I think looks a lot better than these things here. Then again, Drake isn't really a fashion icon like that. So yeah, he's gotten away with the fact that they put different colorways on more iconic Jordan silhouettes that he didn't have to really design himself. But if this is Drake's take at designing, he might want to stick to music. Now, the final thing that I want to say about these that a lot of people have been wondering about the Forza Nocta line and this AWR and CL on the back of the box, and of course the AWR on the outsole as well. Here's what that means. CL stands for copy left, and AWR stands for all wrongs reserved. What in the world does that mean? Well, pretty much what it means is that in copywriting for like say music or things that have copyrights on them, copy left means that people can actually take it and manipulate it however they want to. So with Drake actually putting that on all the Nocta stuff, to me it actually might give people creative license to customize their pieces however they would want to without worrying about things like lawsuits or legal infractions from a brand like Nike. I think that's actually pretty dope if that's really what it is or people could really get away with doing that. I don't know how you would customize these to make them look any better, but I guess you have free license to be able to do that if that's something that you want to do. All in all, I'm not saying that the sneaker is like the worst sneaker I've ever seen. I think there's definitely worse shoes out there, 
but this just wasn't it for me personally. If you like it, I love it, but these right here, swing and a miss for me. Now it's time for you guys to send up down below in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about the Air Terra Hot Step by Drake and Nocta for Nike. Let me know what you guys think about these. If you like them, sound off down below, but I feel like a lot more of you guys are probably gonna say that you're really just not feeling these and I'm in that boat with you. But if these were a hard pass, sound off down below, let me know that as well. I'd love to know your opinions. Of course, while you're down in the comments, make sure that you click on that subscribe button so we can welcome you into the Sneaker Fetish family to make sure you don't miss out on any more sneakers, I cannot call these heat, any more sneakers that come out like these because I guarantee you, I got a lot more heat to show you on the way. As always, I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sticker Fetish, taking a look at these with me, unboxing them with me for a couple of minutes. I go by the name of Kari. This is the Nike Hot Step Air Terra by Drake and Nocta. And until next time, I'm out.